In today's tutorial, I'll be making this six-petal flower with a beautiful raised center. For work, I'll be using two colors of yarn and a crochet hook. For the center, I've chosen red color. Begin the work by making a chain of 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And join the chain in the round by making a slip stitch into the first chain stitch. This is the foundation ring. Now continue and begin the first round. Chain 1 to bring up the yarn and into the foundation ring single crochet 24. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now continue and work until you have 24 single crochet stitches made into the ring. I made 24 single crochets into the ring. Now complete the first round by making a slip stitch into the front loop of the first single crochet. Skip a chain stitch made on the beginning of this round. Then insert the hook into the front loop of the next single crochet stitch. And work a slip stitch into. The first round is ready. In the second round, I'll be crocheting 12 little raised petals to create a beautiful center. To start the first petal, chain 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And now, over this chain of 7, I'll be making stitches. So, to make the first stitch, insert the hook under the chain. Take the working yarn and pull up a loop. Then yarn over and pull through one. The first stitch is made. Over the chain we need to make 14 such kind of stitches. I made one, now continue. Two. Again, insert the hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, and the last stitch, 14. Here all these stitches are close to each other. Now we have 15 loops on the hook. We need to do yarn over and pull through all loops at once. So yarn over and pull through all loops that are on the hook. Like this. Now to complete this first petal, skip one stitch of previous round. It is the next single crochet. Here it is, skip it. And work into the second stitch. Work a slip stitch into the front loop of the second stitch, second single crochet. Insert the hook into the front loop. Take the working yarn, pull through and pull this loop through the loop on your hook. The slip stitch is made. Make it tight. Here how the first petal looks. This is how it looks from the back. And this is the front. 
Now repeat the same to crochet the second petal. Chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And work over this chain. Repeat 14 times. Insert the hook under the chain. Take the working yarn, pull up a loop. Then yarn over and pull through one. Do not make these stitches loose. They should be very close to each other. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. And the last one. Fourteen. Now yarn over and pull through all loops that are on the hook. To complete the second petal, skip the next stitch of previous round and work a slip stitch into the front loop of the next second single crochet. The second petal is ready. For the third petal, repeat the same. Chain 7. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and work over this chain. In this round, there should be 12 such a cute little petals. I made two, continue and crochet 10 more. Here, I'm about to complete the second round. I've just finished the last 12th petal. Now to complete this round, make a slip stitch into the first single crochet stitch of previous round. Work into the front loop of the single crochet. So we need to work into the same single crochet that the first petal is coming out of. Here is this first petal. So insert the hook into the front loop of the first single crochet like this and slip into. Take the working yarn, pull it through, and then pull this loop through the loop on your hook. Make the slip stitch tight. We've just completed the second round, and the center of the flower is ready. Here I'm not going to cut off the yarn yet. I'll just change it for the pink one to crochet larger petals. In this flower, there will be six large petals. The third round, I'll be working into the back loops of single crochet stitches of the first round. Here you can see them all on the back. Here are these three back loops of the single crochet stitches that we need to work into. So now to move the yarn to the level of the first round, make a slip stitch into the free loop of the first single crochet stitch. Also while working this slip stitch, I'm going to change the yarn. So insert the hook into the back loop of the first single crochet. Take the new yarn, pull up a loop through the stitch and then pull this loop through the loop on your hook like this. The slip stitch is made, now chain one to bring up the yarn and single crochet into the back loop of the same stitch, into the same back loop. This is the beginning of the new round, which is round three. 
This red yarn, I'll just leave it on the back of the flower. I'll be using it later to crochet the trim for petals. Now continue round three. Single crochet into each of next two free back loops. One and into the next loop. Two. I remind you that this round I'm working into the back loops of first round stitches. Now chain seven for the chain space. Three, four, five, six, seven. Now skip one stitch of previous round, skip this one free loop, and single crochet into the free loop of the next three stitches. One, two, and three. Repeat again, chain seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Skip one stitch and single crochet into each of next three. One, two, and single crochet into the next stitch. Three. Here and behind these small petals, we are creating a chain spaces that will work as the foundation for the large petals. Now you need to continue this round and crochet four more such chain spaces. Work the same chain seven, skip one stitch, and single crochet three in a row. So continue, and by the end of this round, you'll have six chain spaces for six petals. Here I chained seven for the last chain space. Now continue. Skip this last free loop and complete round three by making a slip stitch into the first single crochet. Round three is ready. And now let's take a look at what we have. Here on the back of the flower there are six chain spaces of seven. Now we can start the next round, round four. For this make a slip stitch into the next single crochet stitch of previous round. Now chain one to bring up the yarn. And continue working into the first chain space of seven. Single crochet, then half double crochet, double crochet five, one, two, three, four, and five. Treble crochet two, yarn over the hook two times to work the treble. One and two. Now make a three chain pico for pico chain three. Then insert the hook into the last treble we've just made. Insert the hook in two strands like this. Pull up a loop through. Now hold two loops on the hook and continue working into the chain space of seven. Yarn over the hook two times and treble crochet into the chain space. Work the first treble like you would until you have three loops on the hook. Then yarn over and pull through three. Here in this way the pico is in the middle of the petal on top of the two middle trebles. Now continue to complete the first petal into the same chain space, treble crochet one, then double crochet five, one, two, three, four, and the last double five, then half double crochet, 
and single crochet. We're done working into the chain space. Now continue, skip the next single crochet stitch of previous round and single crochet into the next second single crochet stitch. The first large petal is ready. The second petal work the same. Skip the next single crochet stitch of previous round and work into the following chain space of seven. Work the same single crochet, then half double crochet, double crochet five, one, two, three, four, and five. Then treble crochet two, one, and two. Now make a picot, chain three, one, two, three. Insert the hook into the last treble in two strands like this. Pull up a loop through. Hold two loops on the hook and treble crochet into the same chain space of previous round. Work this treble like you normally would until you have three loops on the hook. Then yarn over and pull through three. Continue working into the same chain space of previous round. Treble crochet one more time. Then double crochet five. One. Two. Three, four, and five. Then half double crochet and single crochet. Now skip the next single crochet stage of previous round and single crochet into the second one. Now we have two petals ready. Work the same till the end of the round and crochet four more such a large petals. All of my six petals are ready. Now complete this round by making a slip stitch into the first chain stitch we made on the beginning of this round. Now I'm going to cut off this pink yarn and continue with the red one again to make a nice trim. But first, let's take a look at the flower. This is the front. And let's take a look at the back. This flower is already very beautiful and if you wish, you can stop the work at this point. I'll continue and show you how to crochet one more round of a single crochet trim. To start the next round, insert the hook into the first single crochet stitch that is made into the chain space. Take the red yarn and pull up a loop through. Then chain one to bring up the yarn and single crochet into the same stitch. Let's see. Here on the back of the flower you can see this red strand. Make sure that it is not tightening the flower and also it should not be very loose. Now continue single crochet into each stage of previous round. Work all the way till the pico. Here I need to single crochet into each of next two trebles. Now continue and work into the picot. 
into the picot single crochet five. One, two, three, four, and the last single crochet five. Then single crochet into the next two trebles. Here is the first treble right under the picot. Single crochet through and then single crochet into the next treble. Continue single crochet into each stitch in a row. Now I need to single crochet into the last single crochet of this petal. It is into the single crochet that is made into the chain space. Now continue, skip this next single crochet stitch that is in between the petals. Here it is. And continue the trim working through the stitches of the second petal. Single crochet into each stitch till you reach the picot and then single crochet five times into the picot. Let's stop here and take a look. Here how the flower changes with this last round of trimming. Now let's finish the trim around the second petal. Single crochet into each stitch until you reach the picot. And now single crochet five into the picot. One, two, three, four, and five. Then single crochet into each of next two trebles. Here is the first treble. Here I made a single crochet into the first treble that is right after the picot and into the second one. Then continue and single crochet into each stitch in a row. Now single crochet into the single crochet stitch of this second petal. Then skip this next single crochet that is in between the petals and work on the other petal. Now continue and work the trim in this way till the end of this round. Let me show you how to complete this round of single crochets. Once you are done working around the last petal, make a slip stitch into the first single crochet of this round. Now the flower is ready. Here how it looks from the front. And let me show you the back of the flower. Please press the like button if you like this project, share the video and leave the comments below. For more free video tutorials, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit our website at sharonidin.com. Thank you so much for watching.